Well, all right. Hey, it's Echo Craft again. Um, yeah, so this time I purchased something, as usual, because I say I'm never going to purchase things. Uh, but I purchase things. Um, I always say that I'm going to have uh, gas for something, and I'm going to say, no, i got to put on the brakes. I'm not going to buy something. And I don't know. I've been looking at this for a while, and they finally have gotten more in stock. And I purchased one of these. This is the Behringer, or Behringer, TD3 uh, Mod, or MO, AM. This is uh, like the devil fish, supposedly. Mod, this is what it sounds like, um, I hope. So, uh, I always wanted one, and as you can see, it has the, uh, the nasty little uh, acid smiley face on there, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I already did the unboxing video, so I'm going to show you that first. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. Cool. Okay, so I always buy new gear. And I always say I'm not going to buy any more new gear because of this, that, the other thing. But I bought something, and I've been having my eye on this for a while, and I got it at Sweetwater. And we're gonna open this up right now. And here we go. So this is a piece of gear from Berlinga, or Behringer, however you wanna say it. And I decided that I wanted one of these, and there it is. It's the, uh, yeah, it's the TD3 mod version. It's supposed to be like the Devilfish. Uh, anybody that knows about the TB303 Devilfish, this is uh, this is supposed to be the closest thing to it because they did uh, hook up with the gentleman who mods the Devilfishes. So, yeah, so, well, and of course, Sweetwater always gives me candy. My buddy Matt South from Sweetwater hooked me up with this stuff. This is purely my own gas, um, and that I really like Behringer products. I know a lot of people don't because of Behringer's reputation of stealing or rip or, uh, replicating things or saying that they're stealing or I don't know. I, I don't think they're stealing. I think they're bringing back stuff that people want. Um, and this is really cool. It's manual and a little, uh, little Behringer uh, acid sticker there. He's not the mean looking acid guy that I thought it would be, but whatever. Power supply, which is awesome. And I like this because I don't have any piece of gear either that's this color. <laughs> this thing is freaking bright yellow, man. I watched some videos today by some people who actually own these. And um, yeah, it's built pretty nice, actually. It feels really good. It's all plastic, of course. Uh, but yeah, oh, the knobs feel solid. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Knobs are very nice, nice and smooth. Has overdrive on it, accent button, sub oscillator button. I watched some videos today on how to program it. It's very reminiscent of the original TB303. Uh, so yeah, this should be pretty cool. And I can't wait to uh, test it out. Oh, it is this little nasty little uh, acid smiley face on there. It's pretty cool. So yeah, man. Um, pretty excited about this going to do some cool stuff with it i actually want to use it more like a sound module as well um, because it can get very nasty sounding and i'm going to run it through some uh definitely going to run it through some effects um but yeah here it is the behringer td3 mo this is the modded out analog baseline synthesizer all right. Cool.
So there you have it, uh, the Behringer TD3MO AM. Great little unit. It definitely gets nasty. Um, I'm going to have some fun doing this. I'll probably post a couple of more videos. I want to hook it up to uh, the Roland Aria, the little Roland Aria uh, T8. See what that sounds like. See what that does. Because that has a TB3 built into it also. So yeah. Cool beans, and um, I don't know. We'll see you in a bit. Peace. <laughs>